How we doing today? Today we are gonna make fried okra. One way we're cutting it small, like you're probably used to. The other way, it's gonna be real nice, a little fancy, see, for when you wanna impress somebody. All right, once we get it cut, you gotta have your flour. This flour is balanced and very good. This is half and half cornstarch and flour. Buttermilk, southern classic for, uh, for frying and browning. Right here, paprika and black pepper, okay? We're gonna mix that up. So boom, some right there, some right there. My thing is usually a tablespoon of seasoning per cup of breader. We're gonna toss our okra in here, bang, bang. We will mix it around, mix it around. Now from here, you gotta get your hands dirty. If you don't get your hands dirty, I don't trust you. So, we're gonna dump this in here, boom, like so. Now, here's a little thing. Whenever you're frying stuff, I call it the white cloud of death, okay? It's that white cloud that comes off your food when you put it in the, um, in the grease. You don't want that, all right? So after that, here's what we have. See this right here? That's dry, okay? You see that right there? That has absorbed the buttermilk, and now that's tacky, see that? Nothing comes off. In which case, nothing's gonna come off in the fryer. So here's what we'll do, while that's setting, I have a nice ceramic coated little Dutch oven right here. I have some canola oil. So you're gonna want this oil at about 325, 350. Anywhere in there, it's a nice little sweet spot. How do you know if your heat's ready? It's a good question. A little pinch of flour. See that? When it bubbles up, you're good to go, man. Make sure you have a nice slotted spoon for when it comes out so all your oil will drip down. So I want you to look now. See, in the time I've told you about your oil, you see that? Now, Tacky, 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 nothing on my finger. So now this is ready to go in. All right, so I'm gonna drop these <clears throat> in here one by one. See that? Nothing came off. You can still see clear through that oil because that means all your batter is staying on the okra and not in your pan. You're looking at about three, three and a half minutes. We're looking for a nice golden brown. As you can see, we're getting some browning going on. When it calms down and stops cooking, that means you pick a lot of moisture out, which means you're getting close to being done. Man, that is some pretty, pretty okra. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna season. A little bit of kosher salt. But while they're cooling off, guys, I'm getting fancy for you. Some nice bourbon-infused honey. Since, since okra is so meaty, it almost plays like a meat, so you can get away with it. And we're gonna finish it with a touch of Parmesan. That, my friend, is the way to eat Southern fried okra. I'm Corey. And I'm Ramon. Together we're Too Fat to Fly. Too Fat! Home of the original stuffed chicken wing. And we're bringing our dream of food truck domination straight to home. Every Saturday night. And you're invited. Welcome. We're going to hit you with some family, some food, and some fun. Back it up, chicken. Back it up. Back it up. We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.